Okay, now let's do the same exact project we did in motion in shake. And here's the final product right here. Okay, as you can see, there she goes. Personally, I think it looks a little better in shake. A little bit easier to get really good results. I can even see the reflection on her belly there pretty good. The reflection of the apple in the, in the, the, from the window on the back there. I can see highlights here on the side of the building looks like. Um, it's just got an overall soft look to it the background and stuff. I just, it blends in better, but motion's great too. So let's get started on this. I'm going to go in here and delete our tree. Shoop. Like this. And we're going to start from scratch. So now we have our Oksana. First thing we want to do is deinterlace this. So I'm going to go to my other tab and hit deinterlace. And that'll just clean that up a lot. I'm going to go down here to my mode and change it to blur. Okay, let's go back to frame one. Now let's, this is filmed in DV, and DV is notoriously famous for jagged edges, which our deinterlace helped a whole lot. Shake is really good about that. But I wanna clean up these edges a little bit more. And to do that, we're gonna do the color space, blur, color space trick. So let's select our deinterlace node, go to color, and add a color space. Okay, now I'm gonna switch that to YUV on the out space. Then I'm gonna go to I filter tab and put a blur in there but I'm just gonna blur the blue and the green channels so I'm gonna come down here to my channels and hit blue B and G for blue and green and I'm gonna blur it by about 10 pixels like that now that will just blur the blue and green channels it won't blur my whole picture then I'm gonna add another color space back to color add another color space and we're gonna take the end space to YUV and that cleans up our edges a whole lot. If you want to go in and look at them, you can select them and hit the I key and compare the differences. There's a slight difference. Okay, so now we want to start keying our, our girl here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our key and hit key light. CFC key light. Okay. Now everybody's familiar with key light since this is assumed knowledge video. I'm going to select my screen color. And I'm going to go in here. I'm going to swipe. Now I got me a good reading of my color. And I'm going to take my screen range up. Okay, I'm going to take it up to about, I don't know, 400, 440, something like that. And I'm going to go back to my node view and we're going to stop right there for a second. So now we have this key. As you can see, our hair is a little bit getting eat away, ate away and all that good stuff so we're gonna have to use a garbage mat on this so let's go back to our color space and let's right click on CFC key light and branch another one off so now we have this other one okay this was gonna this was kind of our soft mat our screen range as you can see is kinda of down into 200s 300s and our hair we can see her hair her hair pretty good okay but in this key light we're gonna up it the screen range Okay, so let's select this one. Let's go back to where we was here. Like that. Now let's select this key lot. And let's sweep it. And we're going to up the screen range a lot more to make this kind of a hard mat to make sure it's real solid. Okay, so now we kind of got a soft mat for her hair and stuff. And we got a hard mat. Okay, and this is the, the hard one is the one we're going to use for the um, garbage mat. Okay, but first I'm going to add a dial 80 road to this. Okay, so let's go to, um, well, I guess we could go to, let's see here, filter. Yeah, let's use a dial 80 road. Let's branch a dial 80 road off, and we're just going to affect the alpha channel. So I'm going to go into my channels, take everything, and just change it to A, and then I'm going to adjust my pixels down to about, I don't know, minus 1.4 something like that minus one or so if you hit the A and go to the alpha channel you can watch as you adjust as you can see how it's dilating in there so I'm going to go to about right there about 1.5 or 4 so now I got to invert this okay so let's go to color and let's invert like that right there then we're going to add a blur so let's just, just to uh, 
smooth things out a little bit. Maybe just a five pixel blur. Okay. I'll bring my other key light down here. And let's put this into the garbage mat of that key light. Now, as you can see, we have a pretty good key. Um, if you notice on the before we connected this, let me delete this. Oh. Let me um, delete that noodle there. Now, if you notice here, before we connect these two together, if I select this first one, we got this white edge. If, we, if I select this other one, we got this white edge. Let me take this into the garbage mat and select it. Now you see our white edge is gone completely. So using those a soft key and a hard key with a dial 80 road combined together uh, makes for a great key. But her hair is getting ate away too much. So what we're going to need to do is make a separate key for her hair. Here's the key for her body right here. So let's go ahead back up here and branch off another key lot. Go to key, branch, key lot. Okay. Now this time, let's go ahead and swap our color. And we're just going to make our screen range real soft. Just about 0, 0, 0070 or something. Just enough to fill it out a little bit. Maybe 0, 0, 0, 0, 100. You know, 0, 100. And then we're going to go up and I'm going to select the image tab. Select the roto shape. Okay, now in this roto shape, I've got to make it the same size as my Oxana. So it's 720 by 480. Okay, now I'm going to select this key lot. And I'm going to select the right side of my roto shape. And I'm going to go in here and box out her head. Like this. Okay, now that gives us a roto shape around her head. Let's go into edge mode. And let's um, bring out the bottom edge here a little bit to give it a little soft edge. Like so. Like that. Now we can select our roto shape, hit R to refresh it, and we can see our roto shape. Now let's invert this roto shape. Like that. And let's put this into the garbage mat of this body key lot. Now you can see we have a really good hair key here, as you can see. Look at that. We can get in all of our hair. Now all we got to do is combine these together with an overnode. So we'll go to layer, over. We'll stick them together and look at that what a wonderful beautiful key we have there isn't that wonderful so now all we got to do is add in our background so let's just take our Apple store here and I guess we can go to other right, let's go to transforms resize and we're gonna make it the same as our Oxana clip clip 720 by 480 so let's go in here and make it 720 by 480. Like that right there. Okay, now we're going to combine this with our Oxana layer. So we can do this several ways. Let's try an I add node. We'll go to layer, I add. Stick that down in there like that. And you see that's not really working too well. So how about we just select layer, over, replace it with an over. Okay. So now we got to reverse these around. Let's switch these back and forth like that. Now let's take our resize node. Let's go to our color tab. Select fade. And let's fade this out. Just where we're barely getting a little bit there. Okay. Now we're going to add in our streak. Now see, we can go back. Now that we got that dialed in we can go back to our layers and you can experiment with I add makes her a little brighter there okay let's leave it like that for now and we'll adjust it in a minute so let's select our street and with from our street let's go to my I want to use a fix plugin that I have called vintage lens just for a certain look okay I'm going to turn the amount down okay then I'm going to use a gold reflector just because it helps bring out some gold in the windows. Like this right here is coming out a lot more. This little reflection here. And I'm just going to fool with these a little bit. I'm 
make it a little darker. Okay. It's not looking too bad because I want to desaturate this anyway. Okay. Now you can go in here and do all kinds of looks. I'm just basically throwing this together real quick so you guys can get an idea of, of what's going on. And there's several fixed plugins you can use to make it look how you want. Or you can use regular plugins. You know, if you want to change the color, you can go into brightness, you can clamp it, you can do a color match or a color replace or a hue curves if you want to add a hue curves. Um, you can go down, let's see. Let's scroll down here to the red red hue and red suppress. You can up them just to give it a little reddish tint there. It's really up to you the kind of look you're wanting to to go for it. Let's see if there's any other cool little plugins that we got here. Let's see here. Na, 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 na. I'm just kind of experimenting as I go. Let's get rid of our hue curves. And let's try. There's a little. It's looking a little bit better. Um, What else could we do to it? Let's give it. Let's see. A malt node, and let's change it a little bit orangey there to give it a kind of a evening time look. Okay. Okay. Now we have our background halfway set up. Now we need to go in. I guess we could go to our roto shape. Set our size to 720 by 480, and let's select this and let's put our roto shape in just like we did in motion. Make it look like a shadow from the buildings are being cast on this one. Like so. We'll change, we'll add a molt node to it from the color tab. We'll say molt. And we're going to make it black. I'm going to make it gray for now. Well, we'll make it black. You can't be able to see it until we plug it in here. So we're going to take this molt node, attach it to an over node, put our roto shape on top of it. Now we get this. So let's add a fade to our roto shape molt node. What a color. Fade. Fade it out. Like that. Now we can add a color filter blur. Let's blur this bad boy. Like so. Now we got a soft shadow being cast on the building. Now let's go ahead and lay it over this roughly just just for now just so we can get a basic idea of what it's going to look like now you can see we got the reflection of our store and we can fade out our reflection a little bit more like so now I have since shake don't have particles I went ahead and bring in some particles just imported them it's just a movie and I'm gonna screen these Let's say let's go to layer. I'm not going to put the pillars and stuff in there because that's pretty simple stuff. I think you all can do that. I'm going to screen these over her. And there's our streak. And there's our key. Now I went for a different look on the background. I give it more of an orange look with some glows and stuff in the windows to bring out the sun setting in the windows. As you can see, the original is just all blue. And I wanted to make it look like kind of like a sun was setting and casting the shadow on the building there. And it looks like kind of like that in the windows. And that's thanks to the slightly, if you can look in here, you can see a slightly orange glow like there's sun shining through and light shining. And I think that reflection's still a little strong, but I'm leaving it that way. So in case you all can't tell this over YouTube, the quality of YouTube videos. Okay, but there she is. And there it is, it done in shake. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. If I play it, you can see there's her hair is keyed awesome. I mean, I'm getting every little single strand if you look close. You know, not to toot my own horn or anything, but uh, look at that right through there. I'm getting all that hair. 
And that's what a professional key is all about, guys. And that's why Shake is loved and still loved. It's timeless. It's worth so much more than they ask for it. The price is just amazing, and it's a wonderful program. And um, I hope you guys have took something from this. We've used two or three different keys to get this key, two or three different um, layer nodes, two or three different color nodes. We, we cleared up the DV edges, and we give the background a good sun cast and she blends in pretty well her soft edges or i mean her stair step edges are gone her hair is completely visible and we look it looks good only thing we need to do is do a little bit of color correcting to make her match the background a little more okay but um i'm not really going to go in here and color correct this right now because that's not what this video is about we can color match and let's see. That didn't help. That didn't help too much. Now I did it. <laughs> so what we need to do is we need to go in here and match um, her to the background. So let's see here. Let's take down our contrast a little bit here. Like that now, let's go in here and add a saturation node to this and lower the saturation just on her a little bit. Now you can see she blends into that background real well. She's not popping out like she is right there. Okay, she's actually... And you know what? I don't want that saturation node right there. I want to put it up here above the background because I don't want that saturation to affect my background. Okay? So now let's look at the final product and adjust our saturation. And it should just affect her. Now she's see there. And I'm going to up it just a little bit. She was just too saturated before. And there we go. Everything looks nice. I hope you guys have learned something. Here's our final tree. And um, have a good look, if you can see it. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.